one of the first things we're going to do whenever we log on to the system is make sure that we have a starting page set. So if you log into the system and you don't see anything, what you're going to do is go to the top right corner and click on your username and click on preferences. From there in the middle, we're going to look at our starting page and click on the drop down and just select either the calendar or the event list, whichever one you want to see first, and then hit the save button. That way, whenever you log on to the system, your starting page is set to whatever you chose. Another thing we're going to go over is managing our users. So if you want to add a new user to your company, all you're going to do is go to the left and click on this manage button. And then you're going to click on the top right, invite a user to your company. From there, this is where you're going to type in their name and their email. And then underneath, we have permission settings for either the system and report access. As you can see, it's very detailed, so you can customize it to exactly what you want them to be able to see and do in the system. After you selected those, what you're going to do is click on Send Invite. After the invite has been sent, just let the user know, and all they're going to do from there is go to the email. Once that's been received, they're going to click on Accept Company Invite. It's going to take them to the login page. All they're going to do is click on the Sign Up Now button. From here, this is where they're going to type in the username, their password, and then they're going to type in the email address. After they type that information in, they're going to hit send verification code, and they're going to receive a code to the email they put in. That way we can make sure that it's verified. Once they type in the code, they're just going to hit verify code. And then from there, they can type in their given name and their surname if they prefer. And then they're just going to hit the create button. That way, whenever they log in, they're going to be able to see your company information with all the events and the permission settings that you have allowed them to use.